Welcome to a very special edition of Let's Talk Sugar. This week, you're joining me in the kitchen so we can discuss hosting your date at your house. Inviting a guy over to your house is a big step and a great way to show him your relationship material. Today, we're discussing how to get your home ready and I'll also be preparing a simple meal that you can wow him with. When he arrives at your place, the first thing he will notice is the smell. Each home has a distinct scent and you want yours to smell good because he'll remember that. So light candles, spray some air freshener and take out the trash before he arrives. Wear something cute but casual, like yoga pants and a tank top or a sundress. Having an organized home is important, but there's a difference between orderly and clean. You need to clean your house thoroughly before he arrives, even if that's something you totally hate doing. So dust, scrub the toilets, get those water spots off the mirror, and clear the clutter so he feels welcome and comfortable in your immaculate home. I do recommend leaving something out that will spark his interest. Whether that's your history homework or your ballet flats, you can subtly share things with him without actually saying anything. Obviously, good hosts prepare meals for their guests, but don't let that freak you out if you're no Betty homemaker. If you can nail a homemade meal, he will feel adored and honored, and that's exactly what you want. Today's menu is a cheese and cracker appetizer, pesto chicken with potatoes and asparagus, and balsamic strawberries for dessert. Before he arrives, do some meal prepping to make your life easier. You will need these ingredients. Start by cutting any excess skin off the chicken and seasoning both sides with salt, pepper, and dry sage. Place this aside or leave it in the fridge for later. Wash the potatoes, then slice them into thick chunks and place them in a large baking dish. Drizzle them with olive oil and mix with minced garlic, salt, pepper, and more dry sage. Then set that aside for later as well. Cut the hard ends off of the asparagus stalks and discard. Drizzle the other side with olive oil and sprinkle with salt. Set this aside for later as well. Once he gets there, you can start with a simple appetizer. You will need these ingredients. Go with a sharp cheddar, some smoked gouda, and Havarti or brie. Slice these cheeses out and lay them on the platter with the cracker selection and prosciutto, and maybe even a sliced apple. Voila, a sophisticated appetizer that didn't even take any cooking. While he's munching on the cheeses, you have time to throw dinner into the oven. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees and put the potatoes in for 15 minutes. Be sure to keep the baking dish uncovered. After the 15 minutes, stir the potatoes, add the chicken, and cook for another 10 minutes. After that, add the asparagus and mix in the pesto sauce and cook for an additional 10 or 15 minutes or until the chicken is done. While that's finishing up, get your dessert ready. You will need these ingredients. Slice the strawberries and put them in a bowl. Drizzle them with balsamic vinegar and sprinkle on some sugar and pepper to taste. Let those sit while you serve dinner. He will be so impressed with your homemaking skills. Plus, something like this shows you really care about him. When he compliments you on the food, take it. Be humble and say thank you. It'll show your maturity and that you're more than just a pretty face. After he's been wowed by your amazing meal, bring out the delectable dessert. Place some of the strawberries in a bowl and top them with lemon zest and a scoop of ice cream. If he wasn't in love before, he will be now. Here's a question from the blog. Ashley, 25, in Austin wants to know, how do you know if someone is trustworthy enough to have over? Only invite someone over who you've already established rapport with. This is like third or fourth date material at the earliest. You need to make it clear that coming over doesn't necessarily mean he's sleeping over and he can't arrive with any expectations. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this non-traditional episode of Let's Talk Sugar with a little traditional gender role flair. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And just a tip, your home is your sanctuary, so make it look like Pottery Barn, or at least Pottery Barn Teen in there. Until next time, stay sweet!